Hi, so it's been 15, 20 minutes or so, and the machine is done priming, so it's ready for me to, like, hook up to it. Um, oh, that's a good thing. Last time I kind of mentioned, like, how much garbage this thing produces, but I didn't show you, like, how many supplies. So if you can see this... Like, we purposely moved this shelf into the room so, like, all these supplies could be here. Because they use all this stuff every day, multiple times a day. It's insane. And this is not even a portion of, like, the stuff that's in the basement. So, anyways. So, to get ready to hook up, I need to get a couple of things ready. I did already wash my hands again. Which is... My hands are so dry because I'm constantly washing them and disinfecting them. Okay, so this is a... This is a high-level disinfectant. It's like bleach. Nurse says wear gloves because she's worried about my hands. Um, so basically what I need to do now is I need to disinfect the catheter, which is on me. So I'm just going to bring it out. There it is. So this is the necklace that I like wear because it just kind of keeps it like secure. It's just the best thing I guess I found. Um, so this comes out of here. I sit here. <clears throat> um, I started using this towel underneath here because um, this is bleach and I've ruined so many of my clothes. Like it sneaks out and it splashes all over and then all my, like all my pajama pants are ruined. So I'm just gonna disinfect my hands. And so anytime I connect, or disconnect this thing to that machine, I need to do this um, scrubbing it with bleach. So I had a, an analog clock with like the minute hand to count like exactly a minute. Um, but we found that in the bedroom it was like really annoying and hard to sleep with it so I got rid of it. Um, more annoying than the machine, surprisingly. The constant ticking of the clock. Uh, so anyways, we, what I've started doing is just watching, there's a clock on here, so I just kinda, like right now it's 23.30, so to make sure that I am actually cleaning this for one full minute, I would wait until 23.32. Like I give it like two minutes just to make sure that I got a full minute. So basically what I'm doing is these are the gauze straps, straps, the gauze squares that were soaked in bleach. So I'm just like rubbing back and forth on here to make sure that I'm disinfecting anything that might be on there. I'm paying special close attention to this dark blue like strip because that's where this cap, this white part comes off. And then, um... The cap, it's a, we get a, there's a new cap puts on every single time, so that's another one of the supplies. Um, so just like doing these side to side motions, these like up and down motions, and just really making sure that that blue part is getting cleaned off. So you can see how like bleach might get on the pants or whatever doing this. Um, Probably pretty close to a minute now. We're just waiting for the time to turn. I had to get a new cameraman. Austin dipped out on me, so now I had Danilo helping me out. I'm so lucky to have all these wonderful men helping me. Right, babe? <laughs> So this can seem like forever, like sometimes, like you're like, dang, I just want to get unhooked or whatever. This is the same thing I do in the morning. Um, oh, okay, 32, so. 
I just kind of throw stuff in a box and then I take it out the next morning when I take all that stuff. So then this one that's saturated just gets wrapped around it like that. And like this. Oh shit, I think I just got blood on the, or blood, uh, bleach on the sheet. Um, and it just it has to sit in there for another minute. So that's what that's going to do. Um... Because my hands are super dry from like washing them and sanitizing them all the time. The dialysis nurse jokes that dialysis nurses and patients had the cleanest hands in the world. I don't know, they hurt though. It's painful. Okay, so we're just waiting for this one minute. Okay, so I just turned 33. I'm going to just wait like just a little bit longer so it's closer to 34 so I know that I get to the full minute. Lots of waiting. Did you explain why you got to wear a... Uh... I did explain that in the other video, the mask, yeah. Um, so this is the same thing, uh, good point with the connections. So this patient line, this green thing, is what I'm going to take off and connect it to to this, um, which is my catheter. And that is directly, that and that is like directly entering my body. Um, and so it needs to make sure that when those things are exposed, the tip of these two things are exposed, that um, we don't breathe on it, we don't get dust on it, germs, anything like that. Um, and like I showed for the other thing too, there's a, you know, we do the pinkies and stuff, whatever. Okay, so it's time now, so you just unwrap this with these hands again. Open it up. Sanitize again. Because I just touched, you know, the outside of the package and whatever else I touched, so that's why. So... We don't need to be wearing our masks necessarily for the bleach part and stuff, but we just do because we can't be touching ears and things like that. So after we change. So now this is the part that is important with the mask. So this is the patient line here. And we can directly connect it into here. So with my pinky again here, being careful not to touch that at all. And then taking the cap. And then this just screws right into there. So now I'm connected to the machine. Take this off um, of here just because oops this allows me the freedom to like get a little bit farther go to the bathroom if I need to um, I can go as far as like just a little bit into the kitchen and I can actually get right into the living room where there's we moved a chair kind of over so that I can watch TV or movies um, it's 10 hours is a long time so like this we don't have to have this anymore now because we're hooked up. So I can tell this. Um, Put on mask and disinfect hands. Okay, so I kind of got ahead. So it's put on mask, disinfect hands. We did that. Um, connect the patient line to the transfer set. That's This is the patient line. This is the transfer set. So, okay, next. So... It's checking it. So I'm connected, but I'm not, it's not open yet, I guess. Open transfer set. So now it's opening transfer set. So that's this right here. It turns. So this white part on this blue, not this, like we don't want to turn that because that will unhook me again and cause contamination, but this turns. So, can you see that? This thing like opens and closes. So this is open, closed. So when it's open, that's allowing the fluid now to move freely through here, out and in. So I'm going to tell this machine, okay, start. And it's going to think about it for a minute, and then what it's going to do is it's going to start doing what's called an initial drain, which is where it's going to drain out any fluid that's currently in my stomach. Um, and so then it'll go through five cycles of fill, drain, or fill, dwell, drain. Um, so it fills me up, it sits there for two hours, and then it drains, fills up, sits there for two hours, drain. So that goes on all night for 10 hours long. 
um, until it's done in the morning and then I can go through the whole process to unhook which I can record at another time to show what that looks like um, but for now it's gonna it's starting to drain and honestly like when it gets down to the end of this drain it hurts like a motherfucker so I'm gonna stop recording because I don't want anybody to see me like wincing in pain which is what happens every day so thank you thanks Danila for recording